Well, guys, that light was really bad. But I think it's time I start talking about the ZRs. And guys, to be fair, I did not come up with this topic. We did recently find out what the ZR pull rates were. They are one of each per case and set GB13 Ultimate Stride. And guys, this is a topic that a lot of you, a lot of card fight channels are talking about, and I think it's a fair topic. I would like to start off before I continue too much forward that there's a few YouTubers that have done this really well already. I'm just sort of doing it to reiterate because maybe you don't watch all of them. But um, if you don't know, right here, right there, I'm looking at the camera and it's confusing me. But right there, right now, different fight did a video. Um, his link will be in the description. He talks about how this will affect the game, and it's really good. I do want to start off by thanking you all. We're up at 148 subscribers. That's really good to me because that means my channel is starting to move forward. Um, the last live stream we did has 92 um, views, and the video I just posted, I, just in case you don't know because it is coming out on Saturday in the morning, as of 11.35, we have over 14 views on my new video. I dropped literally less than an hour ago. So thank you all so much. That means so much to me. Check out my Minecraft channel. And don't forget to check out Black Moon Dragon. He is also now there. I have to remember I, I, the opposite direction for these. So what's it mean to have literally one Xeroth Dragon per booster box? One of each per booster box. It is a new mechanic. And a lot of decks don't require it. But it could mean mass extension of players dropping out for the game. Literally in Japan, GB13 sold out. Like they are not printing 13 anymore and it's literally been out a week. If that. And they're just done. They're they're out of stock. They have no, no set 13 left. That is just like, here's set 13! Set 13 no more! So they literally sold out a set 13 in a matter of days. Because you get one of each per booster box. And I don't know how many that was. But I'm only going to assume there's probably a couple hundred in existence. If that, maybe a couple thousand in Japan. But still, you think about it, you get one per box. You're only using one a trial. You're only using one a deck. So if there's a couple thousand, that means a couple thousand players has them. But that's one of the case, and I just started my my own company to sell trading cards and stuff, which, surprise, I started a company, it's sort of work, it's still in the finance, I just have the name and everything. I'll address that in another video, not the point. But, that literally just capsizes the game, and this happened in Legion 2, as a lot of people will talk about, back when Legion was coming out, Players literally stopped playing the game because their decks were not getting Legion support. Whether it was a clan or just an archetype in general. Like, I mean, you didn't play regular Gold Paladins like Ezel because Ezel did not have Legion in Gold Paladins. It was literally Liberator's Bluish Flame. That's all you got for Legion. Literally, most Liberator decks that were evolved around Alfred or anything just died. And even then, there were some decks that were still topping that weren't Legion based. But at the same time, that's not the point of this. The point is that there it's a format. It's a mechanic that pot potentially cripple the game right now. Bushiro has the next five years planned. But that means for the next year of G, because I'm assuming that's how long it's going to last, being that almost every season of G lasts about six to nine months, just because you get an episode a week couple boxes a, a season you're good but then what's that mean for the next year of players we're gonna see a dramatic dip in people we're gonna see a dramatic probably increase on the second market in card prices because people are quitting the game um but yeah i mean people are gonna probably stop playing for a while until g's over with because this is the last season of g so i'm hoping that it has like a solid 30 episode run and then just is wraps itself up and calls it good which we're on episode seven now so i could see it potentially being done by this summer and having our next legend deck out hopefully it'll be something like gear chronicle now 
I say that and I hate Gear Chronicle because it gets so much support, but a Legend deck would be good and I will cover that in a future video coming out later this week, I promise. Sorry there was no live stream again this weekend. I've just been super busy with other things and working on my own health. Things, yeah. So, back to the point. Is one Xeroth Dragon a set? And it's going to affect the game. I can't even lie about it. It is going to heavily affect how the game works. But again, it's still a mechanic. Decks that don't use GB all that often will benefit from it. But there's a lot of decks out there that require GB. So if you don't win on your Xeroth Dragon turn, you're done. But like I said, this is just something sort of I wanted to get behind. Again, go check out... Um, uh, who's it called? Sorry, I had a weird crick in my neck. Um, Different Fight. He does a really fantastic job on these types of things, and he really deserves what he the praise I'm giving him. He's a fantastic YouTuber, and I hope one day to climb up to his status, or even Black Moon Dragon's status. They're both fantastic YouTubers. Link to his videos in the description below. Um, if I don't get to editing the little things on screen, I'm sorry. I My computer's currently held up, so I'm sort of just going to go and upload this now and see what happens. But... Guys, until next time, I've been Silver, and I'll see you all later.